the parents, we've been focusing on helping our children with the three-letter words that the teachers have been suggesting that they learn at this point. Now, your focus mainly has been on the phonics, the sounds that the English letters make. In the beginning of the word, at the end of the word, and now the short vowels at the middle of the word. These sounds are the building blocks for reading and writing in English. The children must be able to identify what this symbol means. Just saying B won't help us. We need to be able to say B, M, T, and so on. So once you're focusing on that, you're in the right place for the children. Now we've done some of the short vowel sound of A, like in hat or pan or mad. And we've done the short sound of I, as in pig and pin and A, in mop and top. And today we'll look a little bit at the short U, like bus or bug and the short e, net, hen, eh, eh. It's a slightly harder sound to hear, so we've saved it till the end when the children are a little bit more used to this. Now we've looked at activities that you can do with any of the sounds. Be sure the child can recognize the picture. Oh yeah, that's right, that's a lip. Now let's see which word says lip, and so they just match it. When they can do that with all the sounds that you've put together, then we change it into a memory game where they have to be able to find the picture. Wait a minute, where's that pig? Oh no, oh wait, here's the pig. Now can we find the word that says pig? And so it becomes a memory game. And then we had an opportunity to just random put pictures on a page and they can paste them down and then find the word card that goes with it. Match it and or write it. But here's something new. You can buy some sw swimming pool tiles or bathroom tiles, write on the tile the letters that you've been working on, and then again, the children pick a picture that they know, oh yeah, that's a bus, and then they assemble the letters of the, from the tiles to make the word. This actually is a more effective way of learning the word than just writing it, because they are creating it. All their senses are working together to make that word. Uh, another activity, and you can actually take, on your computer you can make a set of phrases. The children can cut out the phrases, paste them on a little paper, and then either draw the sun on a hut or grab the pictures and paste them on. Then when they have done several of these, of course you can assemble it into a little booklet with different stories. And then the books that we've talked about every single time because none of this makes any sense unless we're making words into stories. I like the, I see a, then it becomes a book. So that's why we're doing this. Now, one fun activity that you can try out. If you have some of these basic word cards, the children can go around the house and put the word card at the object. There's a hat. Or put the word card pen on a pen. Best of all, let's take the word card man, and if Dada doesn't mind, he can wear it on his shirt for the whole day. Because what a giggly thing that'll be, that Dada's walking around with the word man. Do you think we'll learn the word man quickly in one go? I think so. Another possibility is cutting pictures out of a magazine. You can do it, or the children can cut them. You know, simple pictures of cat, bed, hat. Make a book, write the words. And then what about reading? If you don't find storybooks that have a lot of these common words in them, you might want to make them yourselves. Now this is not children's literature. These are just simple phrases. I see a pup. I see a hut. The pup is on the hut. We're practicing these words that we're trying to learn in our reading and writing vocabulary. So we've given lots of ideas here. How will you know when the children have mastered these three-letter words? Well, you and I won't know, but the children will know. And when they've really got it, they're going to be done with it. And they'll be ready for the next challenge, which I hope your teachers will be ready to give you. But remember, there are so many possible combinations of letter sounds and common pictures that they can work with that they can go on with this for weeks and weeks, happily engaged, and once they've got the system, you really don't have to do too much to help them out. 
Well, I hope these sessions have been helpful to you as you work with your children on three-letter words. Remember, it's basically about reading, and uh, don't forget to play, because play is really how children learn. We'll work on other things on another occasion. Thank you.